Today we are going to talk about problem solving with equations in two variables. We've already practiced writing equations in two variables and we've practiced solving equations. Today we're going to combine both of those together um, in one big problem. So let's get started. It says Ronaldo gets $8 for every driveway he shovels. The amount of driveway he shovels determines the amount of money he makes. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off by writing my equation. I'm going to include the word ratio, the let statements, and the mathematical equation. All right, so um, in the end, we are determining the amount of money that he makes. Money made is going to equal what? So how did we get to that money made? Well, we have the amount he makes per driveway. And we multiply that with the amount of driveways he shovels. So what information do I already have? So this is my word ratio. We are looking at an end goal of money made. Um, and we find the money made by multiplying the amount per driveway um, by the amount of driveways he shovels. So what information do I already have? Well, I know that he gets $8 for every driveway. I don't know how much money he made in total, and I don't know how many driveways he shovels. So I'm going to need variables for those. And because I need variables, I'm going to need let statements. So let's say let... D, B, number of driveways. And let's let M be money. So the amount of money he made. Okay, so from here, I've got... Now I just take it and turn that all into my written mathematical equation. So I'm going to do that off to the side here. So we start with our M, which equals, we've got a number here, so that's 8 times D, our driveways. Money equals the amount per driveway, which is $8 per driveway, times D, the amount of driveways. So I can simplify that down to say M equals 8D. Now I cannot go away from this and it is super important that we make sure that we have done this correctly because it's gonna impact our next two parts. So next part says that if Ronaldo shovels six driveways, how much money does he make? So I need to take my equation from step one and rewrite it, M equals 8D. Now, here I have some information and it is telling me that he shoveled six driveways. So that driveways goes in substituting for D. So I rewrite my equation, M equals eight, substitute in six for D. Now I just solved my equation here. M equals eight times six to simplify that out is 48. M equals 48. So I need to remember what M is. What does M stand for? Well, M stands for money made. Does that answer our question? Yep. Ronaldo makes $48 when shoveling six driveways. Now, if I said that he shoveled a different number of driveways, my answer would be different here. My, my total dollar amount would be different. So we are talking about this situation and substituting in numbers to our equation that should stay consistent. Our, our equation stays consistent the whole situation. So we've got another situation here, or excuse me, another problem here where it says if Ronaldo makes $72, how many driveways did he shovel? So again, I'm going to go ahead and use my equation. My equation from up here doesn't change. He's still making $8 per driveway. Okay, so here it tells us that he makes $72. Well, I'm, that's not the number of driveways, so I need to plug in that $72, that's our money made, 
So it goes in for n. 72 equals 8d. Now I solve my equation again. I need to get my variable alone. Here, my variable was already alone, so I didn't need to do any inverse. Here at part C, um, my variable is with another number, so I need to get it alone. To do that, I notice that there's multiplication, so I must divide. That leaves me with D equals 72 divided by 8 equals 9. D equals 9. Well, D was the number of driveways. Therefore, Ronaldo shoveled nine driveways when he made $72. So to make $72, Ronaldo shoveled nine driveways. And again, just like up here, we could switch those numbers around and get different answers um, if we plug them into our equation. Let's try one more example down here. It says that Izzy has a coupon to save $12 off at her favorite clothing store. The cost of her bill will be the price of the item she purchases minus that $12. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and start by writing out my word equation. I wanna make sure that my story is out there and that every part is accounted for. So we are looking for the total price of her items. And then we subtract from that the coupon, and that will equal our bill, how much money we actually pay. So we start with the total price of her items, we subtract how much she has the coupon off for, and then that gets how much she actually pays here. Well, I don't know what she actually pays, so I'm gonna need a let statement here. Let B be bill. My coupon, I do know that, is $12. And then lastly, my total price of my items, I do not know that. So let's let I be items. All right, so I take this and I turn it into a mathematical equation. Let's start right here. We've got I minus 12 equals B. And there's my equation. So again, I can go in and plug in different values for each of these um, to determine what, um, what information I have, um, different price points. So it says, if the price of the items was $32, how much did Izzy pay? Again, I'm gonna use my equation. So I have I minus 12 equals B. Well, I know that the total price of the items was $32, so that's how much it originally was. So I'm going to plug in 32 for my I, that's the items, 32 minus 12 equals B. So again, I solve my equation. B equals, my bill equals 32 minus 12, which is 20. So the bill after coupon is $20. If the items added up to $32, then this is what Izzy would pay. Let's try one more. It says if Izzy paid $25, what was the total price of the items? So the amount she paid is that bill. So we're gonna plug this in this time for that B. I minus 12, I use the same equation. I minus 12 equals 25. This time, um, I've got to get my variable alone. So I inverse that 12 to get it on this side. So that would be plus 12. That would leave me with I equals 25 plus 12, which is 37. So the items cost $37 when we pay after coupon $25.